better be honest with you. We're 10 games into the season. We've won zero. Surely today is the day we get our first win of the season as we take on Newcastle and Southampton. <laughs> Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 3 of the Watford FC No Attribute Challenge Save. And yet not going well at all. Like I said in the intro, we're yet to win a game. We've only drawn 2 and we've lost 8, which is about 8 more than I would like to lose at this point of the season so that gives us a grand total of two points out of a possible 30 sounds like britain at the old eurovision doesn't it so yeah not going well we need to start turning it round today the first game is against newcastle who are in 13th in the league they have won four games drawn just the one and lost five and so you never know this game could be winnable the game after that is against Southampton, who have a very similar record right now. They have played 10, won 3, drawn 4, and lost 3. So, yep, let's crack on with the first game. But before we do that, let me show you how many games we've lost and by how many we've lost them by. And so, you was with us last for the Tottenham and United doubleheader. We followed that up with getting a 2-2 draw against 10-man Fulham. We went 2-0 down within 17 minutes. But we got one back just before half-time, with about the last kick of the half, from what I remember. And then, they went down to 10 men, Nordvite getting himself sent off, Penarada equalised, and we went gung-ho trying to go for the win, but unfortunately was not to be. And then we went to the Emirates, and pretty much got spanked by Arsenal. Three goals to one. We never really looked like being in that game, if I'm honest. And then we come back to Vicarage Road. And we lost 4-3 in a barnstorming game against Bournemouth. If we have a look at that, Lerma gave Bournemouth the lead. Then Joshua King doubled it on 21 minutes. We made it 2-1 in the 25th. They then made it 3-1 in the 27th minute. And then Penarada made it 3-2 in the 46th minute, just at the start of the second half. But then Lise Mousset scored their fourth. And Penarada got his second of the game, just to give us one more consolation goal. And after that, we played a 4-4-1-1 versus Wolves. Just trying something different, just trying to see if anything sticks at the minute but that did not work at all well and Wolves disposed of us pretty simply and now is something I want to show you this last own goal that Huddersfield had scored for them and then this is it Mooney nods it on and then Cabasele with it then under under very little pressure at 2-2 in the game what kind of own goal is that to be given away? So, yep, that is how we lost the last game. So, let's go and crack on with this one. This is this is going to be the team for the game. Foster in goal. Williams, Cathcart, Cavaselli and Navarro in the back four. Baruch and Chalabar in the centre of midfield. Delafeu, Will Hughes and Seema all behind Penarada. So, please let this be the day. Today's gonna be the day we're gonna win a game of football. By now, you should have realised we're conceding too many goals. How's that? Not just a pretty face. Can also make up songs at the drop of a hat. And it's time to put an end to this poor run of form. And then I have faith in you. I have faith in you. I don't know why, but I've got faith in all of you. Please turn it around today. 20 minutes in, the first highlight of the game. And it's De La Faye with a free kick that is saved by the Newcastle keeper. And then they clear it away. 
half an hour gone. Williams with a corner for us. And it's Will Hughes with a header. And we've bundled it. Have we bundled it over the line? No, we haven't. We've given away a free kick. And that is a very short first half. Only those two highlights to show you. And yeah, we've been playing better. We've definitely been the better team here. We've had six shots with two on target and two off target and two blocked. And we've had 60% of the possession. But I think the two teams both playing 4-2-3-1 isn't really uh, allowing for too exciting a game. But as long as we win, I will be a happy boy. So let's see if we can go out there into the second half. We've been the better team here. Just keep going. And hopefully something will just fall for us. And now it's Newcastle with their first highlight of the game. Or not. De La Feu doing brilliantly to nick the ball there. Off their free kick. Can he find a teammate? He's got a few in space. He's gone to cross it. Penarada with the goal. We are leading a game of football. Do you believe it? 50 minutes gone and we are 1-0 up in a game we have absolutely dominated. But now having said that, what's the odds Newcastle score here as Selby's shot goes wide? 63 minutes on the clock and Newcastle now with a cross and we've given away a penalty. Because winning a game of football would be too nice, wouldn't it? So, who is it stepping up for Newcastle? It's Fabian Saar. He runs up and he puts the ball home. Oh my god. This is not happening, is it? Let's have another look at this on the replay. Decent penalty there. Ben Foster maybe should have done a little bit better, you would think. Alright, so we have got 24 minutes left on the clock. We've just made a couple of changes. Will Hughes hasn't really got into the game. So he's gone off for Troy Deeney. And De La Feu has also left the pitch to be replaced by Roberto Pereira. As we've gone two up top with a 4-2-4. Just to try and force a win. Which would be delightful. Eight minutes left. Newcastle with a free kick. Hayden now to Almiron who plays it out wide but Williams heads it away. Only as far as DeAndre Yedlin. And Yedlin with the ball into Hayden to Yedlin. And his cross is blocked. And now Chalaba is going to be the first to get to the ball. Now can we maybe start a counter attack? He goes long. And Saar the goal scorer heads it away. But Troy Deeney. Coming forward, needs to find a teammate. He's in about the opposite place as to where I'd like him to be. And now it's Burak. Got a man who might go on the overlap, but Danny gets in the way. Oh, Danny boy, what are you doing to me? Cabeseli, Navarro, Dima, Burak. This is a very long highlight here. And now, is Williams going to win the ball back? No, he's not. Kennedy with it. With the cross. And Almiron. Oh. oh my gosh. It's just not going to happen is it boys. It's just not going to happen. Maybe I should have settled for the point. Maybe. And Kennedy with the cross. And Almiron in oceans of space. Three minutes left on the clock now. Almiron goes to Dubravka. And that ball, I thought that was going to go out, but it doesn't. Danny now coming forward with it. Almiron misses it there, but it goes to Yedlin. And now just way too much space here. Diarmi. Oh... Oh, my days. Yedlin with it. Again, it's Yedlin doing all the damage. Goes to the army and Foster is unable to keep his rocket of a shot out. Four minutes left in injury time. 
Navarro with a free kick goes out wide to Williams. And Williams with the cross. And Dini is unable to get onto the end of that. Navarro. Barak. He needs a man out wide to help him out. Talaba. Come on, find a teammate. Goes to Perea. Penarada. Out wide to Navarro. Navarro with it. And then Yedlin heads it away. And Dini. Troy Dini gives us a glimmer of hope. With only his second goal of the season. Dan, it, that took a while to get going. But when it did, it ended delightfully. Yedlin heading it across. And Dini just doing Troy Dini things. And heading the ball home. There goes the final whistle. We have lost the game. Three goals to two. And looking at the match stats. We had 11 shots to their nine. Four on target apiece. Three off target apiece. And we won the possession. So going forward. We're doing okay. It's just in defence. In January. We really really need to start. Thinking about buying defenders for January. So if you've got any cheap defenders. That you think could do a job in the Premier League. Get them involved down below. Get them involved. And I'll get my scouts to have a look at them. And I'm going to say to the lads. Despite the result I'm pleased. Just to try and get some momentum going. Just to get some confidence going. With the boys. And so I'll be back with you in just a second for the Southampton game. Oh, it's starting. The rumours are starting that we might be getting sacked very soon. And if we have a look at the board confidence, very insecure. Not good at all. And so we are just a day away from the next game against Southampton. So this is going to be the team. Foster in goal. Sakai coming in for Williams. Who had an awful game in that last one against Newcastle. Kafka and Cabaselli keep their places as the centre-backs. Just because I don't think there's anybody better. No there isn't. So Navarro is also on the right hand side. Again just because there's not anybody too much better. Pico Firmino. He's more of a winger. Isn't he? Yeah, he is. So he's not going to be much better. And then in midfield, we've dropped Will Hughes down to the midfield line. And we're putting him as a deep line playmaker. And then it's pretty much the same up the top. Delefeu, Seema and Penarada. Here we are, game day. And as you can see, Southampton are 1-2 to two on to win this game. Despite being 15th in the league. We're 9-2 to two to win the game. And our form, of course, is woeful. Southampton's is only inconsistent. And so let's go have a look, see how Southampton are going to be lining up. And they are going with a 4-1-2-3 wide. Redmond and Elanusi as their wingers. Staying long up front for them. But other than that, there's not a whole lot there to scare us. We should be doing a lot better than how we are. So please, can today be the one where we get a win? I don't care if it goes in off their goalkeeper's dick and hits the back of the net. As long as it goes in and we win a game of football, that's all I want for Christmas. Bloody hell, it's a bit early for that. It's only June bad jokes. Stop singing Christmas songs. First highlight of the game, 17 minutes in, Armstrong with the ball, into Holberg, who plays it out wide, and target with the cross, but we get it away, but only as far as Holberg. Oh my days. This defence is dreadful. This defence is terrible. No wonder they conceded 6 to City in the cup final. Oh my gosh. 19 minutes in now. P 
Penarada with the ball for us. Can he find a teammate? Go to Navarro. Will Hughes to Barrack. And can Barrack please play it on to somebody else? And he does finally to Chalabar. Back to Barrack. And they're keeping us quite nicely where they want us for the minute. But now Seema to Hughes. But Holberg wins the tackle. And it goes away. Cathcart heads the ball on. Holberg. Oh no, no, no. Redmond. Oh, cracking stop there from Ben Foster. What a stop that is. One early change that we're being forced into. Jetro Williams is coming on for Sakai, who's picked up a little bit of a knock. Five minutes just about to half time. Will Hughes with the ball goes to Cathcart, who just gives it away to Shane Long, who beats another man, goes for the shot. But thankfully, even Ben Foster can save that. Ah, oh, when it's not going right, it is not going right. Now our first choice right back is out injured. And I really don't know what to do about this. Because we haven't got a right back on the bench. Ah, uh, da, 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 I don't know. Craig Cathcart, can you play out there? Just slightly you can. And so that still doesn't help matters too much, but it's going to have to be. It has to be Chalabar coming down for Navarro. And then Decore for Navarro. So that is what, two changes made and it's not even half time yet. And that is half time. We have been completely outclassed here. 11 shots, 2 are 2. 51% of possession they've had, 8 shots on target. We have just not been anywhere nearly in this game. And let's go higher defensive line. Uh, don't want to be getting stuck in quite as much. And then just play long balls forward. Shoot on sight and hit early crosses. You know what? Play a little bit wider. Why not? Go like that. And then focus play down the left. Try and get Delefeu into the game a little bit more. And so I'm saying to the lads, expect a much better showing in the second half. 48 minutes gone. And the second half just starting. Southampton with a throw in. Target with it on the line. Plays it to Holberg. Back to target. And Holberg again. Target again. And he plays it long. And are we going to get his first? Surely we are. Yes we do. Cabaselli to Ben Foster. Who clears it quickly. Cathcart to Seema. He plays it over the top. Penarada's in. Penarada is in. Can he get the equaliser? Of course he can't. But long in the ball up there and ending that highlight. 63 minutes gone now. Redmond with the corner ball. Gets headed against the keeper and we scramble it away. So 25 minutes gone. Troy Deeney coming on for our final sub of the game. Who replaced a quite disappointing on the day, Penarada. One more desperate gamble to try and get at least a point out of this game. As we've now pushed Delefeu and Seema a bit more narrow. They can hopefully try and get off any flicks that Troy Deeney gives to them. Seven minutes remaining and it's Lamina with a header off the corner. Thankfully going wide. <sighs> Wow, that's what, 12 without a win now. And we looked very, very much second best in that game, despite only losing 1-0. Let's go into the dressing room. Let's go, you know, I'm going to go aggressive. I'm not happy with the result. Or no, the performance shows there's much work to be done. And everybody's fired up. So... As the episode ends, 
we are still bottom of the league. Play 12, won none, drawn two, lost 10. We are on course to be even worse than that bloody awful Derby team that was in the Premier League, what, 10, 12 years ago? Something like that. And yeah, it's not going well. And so, yet yeah, we've not been sacked, which is what I was looking for there. And so, we've got Liverpool up next. Oh, my days. Oh, uh, you know what? We're going to come back for that one, because I don't think it's going to be that much longer till I get sacked, if this continues. So, come back for that next week. And guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a pity like down below. Every like really does help the channel out. And subscribe to the channel for more amazing football management like you've seen in this video. And subscribe for the upcoming Total Extreme Wrestling series that will be coming to the channel. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bad jokes games for the San Marino save that I'm doing over there. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash bad jokes gaming. All the links will be down below. And yep, thank you guys. I shall see you next time. Adios.